Hey everybody, just a short upload tonight. This is called Oxygen, the Breath of Life, and I'm just going to read here. This is an article by Dr. Daniel Mitchell. It says this, We should fathom over and over the fact that we really are breathing or respiration-filled spiritual beings first and foremost within our earthly sojourn. According to Dictionary.com, the word respiration means inhalation or exhalation of air. It is our inhalation and exhalation of air, which is none other than the spiritual force called oxygen, the source that gives the essentials of life to our physical being. Did you know that our bodily mass consists of 65% oxygen? As well, are you aware that oxygen permeates 30% of the earth and 20% of its atmosphere? To ponder from a scientific perspective, it can be expressed that every breath or intake of oxygen that we as human beings need to breathe is the result of a mysterious spiritual process. Such a spiritually driven act of respiration is clearly the result of a powerful cosmic unseen intelligent life form. The great scientist and thinker Albert Einstein commented, everyone who is seriously involved in the pursuit of science becomes convinced that a spirit is manifest in the laws of the universe, a, vast, a spirit vastly superior to that of man and one in the face of which we, with our modest powers, must feel humble. goes on to say this, The spiritual breath of life is provided to us by the universe, our creator, and source of all, often called God. The Old Testament writers inform us, And the Lord God formed man, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man be became a living soul. And that is from Genesis. And it says, So when God or the universe breathed into the nostrils of humankind, a living soul was created. The concept of soul was taught by the ancient mystery system, which preceded biblical thought by millenniums, as a symbol of heavenly spiritual light. And that kind of reminded me of a few Bible verses, especially from Job. Um, here is a few. By his breath, the heavens are cleared. His hand has pierced the fleeing serpent. Another one is the Spirit of God has made me, and the breath of the Almighty gives me life. And another one is, but it is a spirit in man, and the breath of the Almighty gives them understanding. And I was just curious. Um, oxygen the breath of life, these biblical terms, um, these biblical um, verses about the breath of life. Is there any connection between the Orion Nebula and oxygen? Well, here is an article that I'm going to leave the link below. And it says this. this is from, I don't know, about nine months ago, I think. It says this. The spectrum lines reveal the signatures of oxygen molecules detected in the Orion Nebula by the Hi-Fi instrument on the Herschel Space Observatory. European Space Agency, working with the Herschel Space Absor Observatory, has found molecules of oxygen in the Orion Nebula. This is the first undisputed detection of oxygen molecules in space. So, where does oxygen... The breath of life come where is the only place we have discovered it it is in the orion nebula i will leave the links below i just thought that was pretty interesting have a nice night